So there's this bombshell website that was released all the way back in November 2022 and has now gotten quite big and it is ready to take over the world. It is even backed up by Microsoft and also Elon Musk. From writing scripts to detailed recipes to making websites, this AI can do it all. So this is game changing. But you know what? Me being the guy of robotics, I want to answer the question. Can this AI help in coding like bunch of separate systems? But more closely in Arduino. No, but really the results were shocking. I was really not expecting it to be this good. So here is a criteria I will judge upon. I give the description to the AI, then copy and paste this code provided into the Arduino editor without me making any changes at all, then upload this code to our trusted Arduino Mega, and finally check the functionality of it. Let's test this AI to the limit. Okay, so we're going to first start with blinking an LED, which I believe was also your first project. If it wasn't, where did you start? So this is how it works. You simply send a command to chat GPT saying like Okay, so the first pin is actually attached to pin number A. Okay, so I also included the word digital because it is a digital pin So I think that will make the instruction more clear and let's send it Okay, didn't work because I was actually signed out. Oh well. Oh Look at that if this works. That's crazy. Oh my god. No way Whoa well, it's actually sending like proper integers and all that. <laughs> oh my god, that's crazy. The code will turn on. Oh wait, what's this then? Oh, it's sending a thing, like some extra notes. Whoa, that all seems correct. Let's upload that code. Oh, you can even copy code. Perfect. Copy paste that. It even has a delay of one second and then it stops the LED. That's crazy. Wow, look at that. That's all done by an AI. But let's see if we can add more LEDs to this. So I got my LED case on. But what I want to do is, I want to give some more orders and instructions, and let's see if he can code that. He. It's in it. Time to type. Alright, let's send it. Yeah, I think it's thinking a lot. Ah, uh, is it gonna send an information? Oh, uh, there we go, there we go. I think it's writing the code. Okay, so long story short, it was not sending out a direct code that we can copy and paste, but it was just trying to give paces of info on how to write this type of code. So Tej is trying to write the instructions in multiple different types of ways so that this AI can understand. You know, I think it's still at the like beginner coding level, not the advanced. Well, it did give some insight though, so it's not too bad. Next one. The next thing, can it move a motor? So here's the motor I'm using. It's the SG90. The signal one, I'll put it on pin number. 13 All right, let's ask it to move now Okay, I sent the code Yes, yeah, of course it's possible Yes, I need the code. Yes, that's it. I think it will do this See, I understand the simple ones it can do and some complex variables it cannot do and Yes, that's correct. So here we can just simply copy the code paste it and send and look at that See, if we restart it, it turns back to 90 degrees. That means the code worked. But let's make some advancements to that as well. Now, can you move to 91 degrees and then back to 45 degrees, 10 degrees. Repeat it over and over. Well, if you put it something in a loop, it always does it over and over anyway. This is a moment of truth, if it does this or not. Okay, servo, my servo, perfect. Void setup, my servo to attach 11, perfect. And 91, delay one second, okay. And then, yeah, that's perfect. I think it got it right now. Perfect, that's it. Now let's upload it. Wow, I uploaded the code and that looks amazing. 90. 45 and the 10. Look at that. That's like perfect code. Well, it's not too tough. Well, I I, 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 I can do that. Mm. Okay, now, here is what I'm trying to do next. Anything comes under 30 centimeter of this ultrasonic sensor, this motor is going to turn a certain degrees. And I'm going to send this code. Let's see if that works. And one. Okay, I sent it. Certainly, here is a code snippet. Echo pin. 
No way, that's actually working. My server got tapped, perfect. Pin mode, trig pin, comma, output, echo pin, comma, input, that's perfect, wow. There is one problem with this code. This is like too simple type. I'm not sure if this works. Well, we'll test it out right now. But this is the way that I write this code, which I think is a little bit more accurate. Now, for example, right here, void, first sensor, and I write float. Instead of an integer, I write a float over here, duration one, comma, distance one, and digital right trig pin one high and then trig pin one low. And now what the code is doing is pretty much jumping into this directly. And it's not even actually doing the serial printing. I'm gonna copy that real quick. Look at that. 40 lines of code in under 10 seconds. The code is sent. That works, oh my God. Perfect. Usually this code takes around 10-ish minutes to do. But the chat GPT is able to do this in less than 10 seconds, pretty much. This one is absolutely crazy. And if chat GPT can do this, well then, I don't know what to say. It will be amazing. All right, so now what we all have been waiting for, can this produce melody? We can't play a melody from an Arduino, except with a piezo buzzer. And I'm gonna play Mario music on it. That is because I also have the code of Mario and I can compare with that a little bit. Because that Mario music on the piezo was actually from one of my arcade machines. Which you can see right there. Or there, I don't know which one. Ah, uh, that's already so loud. It sounds like a grasshopper. Okay, that was just me playing around. Anyway, but. I'm sending it in three, two, one, and it's sent. Let's see what it says. Certainly, here's an example of code that you can play. No way, it sends it right away. Oh, oh my God. I know that how long this is. This is absolutely crazy long. So it's gonna spend a lot of time, but oh my God. No way, what if I say the Spider-Man theme song then? I sent it. Oh, oh, there's one problem. Oh, E7 was not declared in the scope. Oh my God, be quiet. Well, we can fix that simply though. Not a biggie. But the rule was we cannot do it. I've given this six tries by now, and it's still not working perfect. You know the funny thing about this is that I just keep telling it over and over what's wrong, and then it keeps telling me, oh yeah, I did this wrong. Okay, nothing seems to be working. <sighs> and I think the AI failed in this execution of the code. Looking at all of the success we as humans have made over the years is just crazy. But this one has to be the craziest of them all. But everything has pros and cons to it. Like AI could take over a lot of job opportunities, but it can make work easy. And you know, pros and cons and they keep on going forever. But the main thing about the AI is jobs. Well, that is it for today. If you liked it, then subscribe. Mic drop.